that jacket, Anderson. It's a formal London, but it is summer. Well, get me something lightweight with a with a check on it, so it looks lumbery, with pockets, pockets. No, no, that doesn't work. How about a fly fishing jacket, where I could put devices, reported devices? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fly fishing, that's good. That's what's going on. I'm too cynical for my own good. I'll be back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth with gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. It's a very sad day in our country. Look, everyone's, you know, upset by this. The invisible president of fish rots from the head down. We can see right through it. We're living in a banana republic under this uh, administration. What do I mean by that? Here we have war in the Middle East, a slap in the face to this invisible loser. The whole world's laughing at him behind his back. Anyone who has a brain knows that he got trumped, pardon me, trumped by Putin. That's a odd use of words. He got Putin by Putin. Yeah, he got Putin by Putin. And uh, we're talking about a horrible shooting in Oregon, which was so convenient, wasn't it? It leads the conspiracy theorists to talk about that they have people controlled and on drugs and they release them when they need them. The CIA has them in secret places and they let them... Who knows? We should have armed guards at every school in America. Every school in America should have an armed guard. You know how many cops in New York don't work? They're sitting at desks doing nothing, co collecting a huge check, calculating what they're going to make when they retire. I mean, let's be realistic here. Do you know how many people in the Pentagon do nothing? It's, except sit there and figure out how to screw the public on a contract as soon as they get out of, uh, out of the government, pr uh, government work? Put military on the schools. Put an armed guard in every school. Put a National Guardsman on, on duty in every school during school hours. Protect our children. I just got this from social media. MMA, MMA fighter Sean Whalen writes, we guard banks, Wall Street, president, congressmen, senators, governors, monuments, money, jewels, athletes, stadiums, concerts. Do we guard children, guard schools? Nothing. No. So long overdue. That's what the uh, president should have said. That as a result of this tragedy, as a result of medication, and there's too much medication being used, we're going to look into video game usage by this, this evil killer and this Christian hater. We're now going to assign National Guardsmen to every school in America. We're going to ask every state governor to offer protection to all of our schools because our children are precious. That would have been a proper statement of leadership. After all, there are countries where there are military forces protecting houses of worship. In Israel, they have uh, army now protecting synagogues because of the numerous shootings and bombings by the wonderful practitioners of the religion of pieces. All right, we know what the story is. Obama is a very, very dangerous demagogue, to be very literate about it. You could, can you be an undangerous demagogue? Yes, you could be a powerless demagogue. Or you could be a very powerful demagogue. So, to be more specific, Obama is a powerful demagogue who has failed miserably on the world stage. And as a result, he leapt like a vampire to capitalize on this horrible shooting which is no doubt the result of medication video games and other factors which nobody will mention and the targeting of christians should have been f first and foremost in the mouth of the president who will say nothing nothing about the dangers of radical islam and the dangers that christians are facing not only around the world but here in the united states of america christianity itself is under attack a fish rots from the head down the phone number is 855-407-282. Don't try to call because you can't get on. Go to michaelsavage.com and see the profiles of the heroes. Give money to the hero. And check out Government Zero when you're checking out the hero. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. Warning. The Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, Psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, 
Michael Savage. But that is inclusive, and the only way to accomplish that is for Mr. Assad to transition, because you cannot. The comedian is giving a speech him right now. In the eyes of Syrians. The comedian who failed on the world stage is now giving a speech at a press conference about Assad has to go. Let's listen in. If Syrians make. And I said to Mr. Putin that I'd be prepared to work with him if he is willing to broker with his partners, Mr. Assad and Iran, a political transition. We can bring the rest of the world community to a Can we broker solution. a political transition to get Obama out of the White House? Can we bring in a net? Is there any power we can broker this with? Can we transition him somewhere to the UN or something? And try to pacify the population is just going to get them stuck in a quagmire. Uh, and it, it it's won't quagmire, work. not quagmire, but okay. And we'll they will be go. there for a while if they don't. Oh, now he's telling Russia course. they're going to get stuck in a quagmire. You hear this? I also said the to great commander in chief here. The United States and Russia and the entire world have a common interest in destroying ISIL. Oh, really? Then why haven't you done it for over a year now? Who are you fooling? Uh, regardless of what Mr. Putin said, was that he doesn't distinguish between ISIL and a moderate Sunni opposition that wants between to see... Between ISIL and Mr. an icicle. I, you know, no one knows the difference anymore between ISIL terms. and an icicle. And that's a recipe for disaster. And it's one that I reject. Uh -huh. So, Mr. Obama, can you tell us how you feel having been slapped down by uh, Putin your after your closed-door meeting? Uh, technical conversations about deconfliction. No answer? Uh, so that uh, we're not saying U.S. and uh, American... Mr. Obama, can you tell us how it feels to be laughed at behind your back by all of the world we're now that they see that, see that the king has no clothes? to our belief and our policy that the problem here is Assad and the brutality... I have a question. Mr. Obama, please, Syria. I have to break in right now. Mr. Obama, could you tell us how it feels to be found out finally at this stage of your presidency? Work with all the parties concerned. It won't answer the question, uh, no matter what I do. We are not going to cooperate with uh, a Russian campaign to simply uh, try to destroy. Mr. Obama, how do you feel knowing that Russia is doing what you said you were doing, but you obviously were not doing for the last year? Can you explain why the U.S. Air Force, the most powerful in the world, has not been able to take out a ragtag bunch of bums in pickup trucks, Mr. Obama? Is one that, if we're ever going to have to have a political Again, does it answer my question. I'm sorry, I won't be thrown out of this press room. Driving. I have legitimate credentials from the American people. I demand an answer. Creating a situation in which they are de uh, decapacitated, and it's only strengthening ISIL. And, and that's not good for anybody. In terms of our support of... Mr. Obama, uh, can you tell us your favorite cookie flavor? I made this is ABC News. Could you please tell us what your favorite ice cream is, the one that you eat with your children at night while watching reruns of uh, Cheers? Either. But that it was in our Mr. Obama, to, to lighten sure things up today, can you tell us what your diet is for your dog, Bo, what he eats? Opposition inside of Syria because eventually... Okay, NBC News now. Sir, can you tell us if Bo is a happy dog or would you say, would you characterize him as a sad dog? ...who we're working with that we can uh, help... All right, one more question now. CBS News, please. Sir, can you tell us what your favorite ice cream is? Uh, and so we will continue to support them. Uh, the training and equip program was a specific initiative by the uh, Defense Department. Sir, can you tell us if you're going to need psychiatric uh, help after Some the meeting with Putin when he beat you back? Focus attention Sir, can you tell us your sense of humiliation when he uh, told your generals to get your planes out of the way so he could bomb the Free Syrian Army, sir? Uh, and I think that the Department no of Defense would say the same thing. Okay, sir, one last question. Can you tell us, please, can you please tell us how you felt after that meeting with Putin when he did what he wanted and you were seen for what you are? The response we'd get back is, how can we focus on ISIL when every single day we're having barrel bombs and attacks? Sir, is it true that the CIA gave gas so to the fake Syrian army? to gas his own, uh, to, to gas people, and you blamed it on our side. Is that true? Is there any truth to that rumor, sir? At them from the West. Uh, so what we're doing with the trend and All right, you won't answer that, so I'll ask another question, a little lighter. Okay, sir, when you go skiing in the winter, if you ski, and I don't know, do you know the difference between icicles and ISIL? ISIL out. 
seeing if we can no, build I'm on sorry. That. You say ISIL. I say uh, ISIS. But, Intelligent well, people say IS. To do is to and that has an I in it, which is Islamic. Sir, so the final question, sir, from the American people is, why won't you use the word Islam with terrorism when even the, the, the Prime Minister of England chastised you for this the other day at the UN, sir? Civil war, and that is going to... Again, no answer. ...turbocharge ISIL recruitment and jihadist recruitment, and uh, we're going to continue to have problems. Now, last point I just want to make about this, because, you know, sometimes the conversation... Sir, is it true that you decimated the military the so the badly that it can't even fight a war anymore, sir? Is there any truth to that? Mr. Putin had to go into Syria, not out oh, of come strength. On. Mr. Obama, you won't answer a single question, not even one about your favorite oatmeal cookie. Mr. Assad was crumbling and it was insufficient Sir, can you for him tell us why you have such a hatred for Assad? And money. Now he's got Sir, can you tell us why the American people distrust family. you so much? And the notion that Mr. President, can you tell us if you can you tell us why you're shrinking both in size and in stature the, the longer people see you? Uh, no there's answer. a vacuum there. I didn't see after he made that speech in the United Nations suddenly the 60 nation coalition that we have start lining up behind him. Coalition? You have one person from each nation that you bought off, like you have five troops fighting Assad. Cost us for $400 million. You're supposed to have 50,000 troops, or you have five people left. What coalition? Where's the coalition? Where's the coalition? What is he talking about? He thinks it's World War II now with a coalition like D Day. mean that. We could not see. You know, when he stretches out that, the, you know the mind is spinning to invent. Recognize that it is in their yeah, interest. That stretch out of a vowel that. Broker a political settlement. Okay, should, we, should we break away and from the oatmeal said, uh, conversation? We're prepared to work with Sir, the can you please help the American people well, figure out how you keep so fit? Uh, this is from Reuters. Yes, I'll take that question. Reuters. Can you, pl sir, can you tell us how you keep so fit? Is it oatmeal or is it yogurt that you eat in the morning? But I think it is still possible. Uh, and so we will maintain lines of communication. But okay, no, no answer. So, sir, regarding your sartorial splendid uh, uniforms that you wear, your suits, how does your tailor keep up with your redu reduction in weight? Does he modify them? Do you get new suits? What? Status quo ante. Again, and no answer. The kinds no matter of, how I ask it. Uh, Even about a suit, I can't get an answer. Against moderate opposition that Russia is engaging in. Sir, is, is it true that there is no moderate opposition to Assad, that they're really just fronts for ISIS? Uh, and that's yes, your, your end game, is to bring down Assad by all means? No answer? All right, we'll take the yeah. next question from the stooge. Julie, uh, throughout this process... Again, we'll answer Julie, but not Michael. ...constantly looked for a uh, easy, low-cost answer. Okay. What? Uh, whether it's we should have sent you know, more rifles in early and somehow then everything would have been a okay. rifles or you sent in uh, gas what do you mean rifles I had you set up you set up a fake army to look uh, like Assad's men Assad you gave them gas from the CIA storehouse and they used it on civilians so you could blame them is that true or false folded uh, or uh, the Assad regime would have folded and uh, we would have uh, Again, suddenly seen a peaceful right, Syria. Sh should we listen to this or not, ladies and gentlemen of the Savage this Nation? This is a hugely difficult, complex problem. Oh, it's and, a hugely difficult, you know, complex problem. So what is it, beyond this pay scale? What was he hired to do, solve simple problems? Like how to beat up the American people? Enormous time and effort and resources with the very best people. And you are the very the, best people? Where are they? And the Iraqi people you have people who can't get jobs in, in, in a regular walk of life that work for it's you. It's still hard. If they had any brains, they'd be working for somebody else. Week in Afghanistan. They need a government it's job so they can collect a pension. By virtue of a lack of effort on our Sir, part, one last question. Pension. When We've still you leave office, would you protect Josh Ernst from war crimes trials, for acting like the Goebbels of our time, still for having lied for you so long, sir? So when I make a decision... I won't answer, no matter what. Uh... The level of military involvement that we're prepared to engage in in Syria, I have to make a judgment based on once we start something, we've got to finish it. And we've got to do it well. And do we, in uh, fact, what? have the, the resources and the capacity uh, to 
make a serious impact, understanding that we've still got to go after 